Yeah they're going to get the ball away from Hernandez and give it to Kyle Farmer. Brian O'Grady recently called up from Triple A Louisville will take over in center field. Senzel will come out and he may be coming into play in the infield. He's yeah. got a couple of gloves right there. We'll see what's going to happen here. Now the Cubs had their backup catcher come in and pitch the other night, and he was throwing uh, just like this. I don't know if that's a knuckleball or just a looping in a fastball, but you know that Farmer can throw it harder than that. I mean, but but it's not even registering on the gun. Doesn't matter. It's 0 and 2. Or one and two now, beg your pardon. Oh my God, it's like slow pitch up. <laughs> and a nice job by Farmer to get the final out. How about that? Good for him. Something to smile about and cheer about on an otherwise uh, pretty dreadful night. Look at this. <laughs> it's Kyle Farmer. He is still on the mound to try and get the final three outs. The last red before Farmer to play catcher, second, and pitch in the same season. Forget the same game, the same year. You've got to go back to 1885. Wow. Well, it reminds me of fantasy camp, where you see towards the end of the week when your best pitchers are kind of worn down and you may be saving them for the playoffs. Yeah. But you bring in some guys that normally don't pitch and this is the way they pitch and it's uncanny how effective they can be. And uh, he's made it look pretty easy here in this inning. Caratini will come on to bat for Rizzo. Whacked into left field that'll be a base hit by Caratini. No sense of humor at all for Caratini. That's exactly right. And now Baez is going to come up and bat left handed. This is having a little fun. <laughs> Look at Baez swings as hard as he can down on one knee. And that's being a good sport right there. That was fun stuff. That's fun stuff. I was I was at first I was scared. I think last time last time I faced a position player, I was close to do it and Joe was like, oh yeah, yeah, do it. I was like, like I didn't want to do it because I didn't know how it was how it was gonna be and you know Tonight was like everybody's like, yo, you gotta do it, you gotta do it. And, and I asked Joe, and he's like, yep, you gotta do it. And I was, I just went out there. And I was, it's kind of, you know, nervous, but I wanted to swing so bad. Yeah, I mean, never really been in that situation with the team, um, but you know, it was, I guess it was a smart move to save the bullpen for the, for the rest of the big weekend we have ahead of us. Um, haven't pitched since my senior year of high school, so that was, I mean, it was, it was a cool experience. It was fun. Yeah, I mean, I, I, my point was to throw it as slow as possible, and I think I threw it slow enough to where it didn't register on the radar from what I heard. So, see my spin rate, talk to Bauer, and see if he sees a vertical drop on that or not. So, um, no, it was fun. It was a cool experience. Just um, Tucker asked me for signs. I said, no, just get back there and just catch it. And it was funny because I'm work out with Hayward in the offseason all the time, and it was pretty fun to match up against him. So it was fun.